A girl comes to the reality of the black pill very early in life, usually starting around the age of 12 to 13 when puberty starts kicking in, and the other males start seeing them as viable sexual options. This gives the girl the power of self-awareness, and as some people may call it, consciousness. This causes the girls to become very insecure in many cases and find ways to cover up their lack of self-esteem, the same way Eve covered up her pussy from God. <laughs> with sexy clothes, makeup, and bad bitch energy. All this looks maxing, believe it or not, has the opposite effect on these women, causing them to base their whole self-esteem on the products that they use. And without it, they would be a hideous beast of the field, in their minds. When in most cases, your average normie will find the average Becky with a little bit of makeup and a gym abused booty a very viable option for mating. And this is where the main issue lies. The average Becky don't want the average guy, but a dude who's a little bit more attractive, a little bit more wealthy, and a little bit more intelligent and socially aware than them. A Becky can sleep with a Chad light at most. A true Chad, no chance. But believe it or not, most women don't hold the same value to sleeping around as men do. They want the dream relationship with Chad slash Chad light even when that's not an actual reality. So they try and try again to open their legs for these dudes, the chat lights, the more attractive dudes, hoping that maybe one, they'll be able to cuff and lock down, not knowing by doing this very action, they're ruining their pair bonding ability. Most healthy girls actually end up with their looks match. Conjure to black pill belief, maybe a little bit more socially aware, maybe with a little bit more wealth, but usually around the same looks threshold, believe it or not. And if you coom gobbling basement dwellers actually took the time to go outside and sniff the pollution of this godforsaken world, you'd see that this, my friends, is actually the case. Then there are the mentally unhealthy women, which go running around chasing Chad till their boobs drop below their belly button and their poo tangs become more floppy than the salami sandwich your mama used to make for you for elementary school. <laughs> Something I want you, my socially autistic brothers, to understand is one reason why girls get with these very attractive dudes, or more attractive dudes. It's because he's cool, he's socially aware, and he has a lot of experience with women. Therefore, they feel confident with him, they feel validated, they feel comfortable. It's not the main reason, but it's a big one, believe it or not. Meanwhile, in many cases, these equal normies are socially autistic, and they don't understand women at all, even if they think they do. What's going on? Let me out. Why don't you understand that we are destined for each other? What are you talking about? Please, let me go. I wouldn't have to do that if you just played Smash with me. Women care a shit ton about a man's social awareness. So that's why I want to finish this video off saying, guys. If you have a friend, even a dude friend, call him up, ask to go out, invite some other people, preferably girls, hopefully guys, and interact with them. And if you do it enough, guess what? You'll start getting socially aware. And guess what that'll do? It'll help better your chances with women. And isn't that what we're here for? It's an important thing for man in this day and age, my brothers. So get to it. Peace.